Today, I want to share the game development tools that I've been loving in 2024 and that I fully plan to keep using in 2025. Hey everyone, my name is Lou. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. These are my personal picks, so if you have favorites of your own, please let me know in the comments and let's complete the list together. I've divided game development into five main groups. First, pre-production and planning, then prototyping and core development, then art and asset creation, four, audio and music, and last but not least, post-production and marketing. Have you ever started working on a game only to realize you don't know where to store your ideas, manage tasks, or coordinate with your team? This stage is all about laying the foundation so everything else can run smoothly. I think Discord is awesome because it keeps my team instantly connected. Quick voice chats, screen sharing, file uploads, it's all right there in one place. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend giving it a shot. Asana is what I use for my day-to-day -day task management. It's really simple, visual and keeps me on track without feeling overwhelmed. I find it's great for smaller teams or small businesses because of its ease of use, even though it does have some missing or limited features that you might notice if your project become very large or complex. Overall, Asana does the job perfectly for me. Milanote is amazing for storyboards, mood boards, and all my early concept work. Sometimes you just need to visually lay out your entire storyline or level flow. And Milanote makes that super easy with its drag and drop interface. Trust me on this one, you don't want to lose progress on your game, ever. Version control like Git keeps every iteration of your project safe, so if you break something, you can roll back. Total lifesaver. How do you figure out if your game concept is actually fun before spending tons of time on final assets? Prototyping is key. Test those mechanics early and often. I started my game dev journey with Unity, and I'll still use it in 2025. It's reliable, has a huge community, and a massive asset store that speeds up development. If you want something tried and true, Unity is your friend. Godot has really caught my eye for smaller scale or 2D projects. It's lightweight, open source, and surprisingly powerful. This year, I've been leaning into Godot more, but I'll definitely keep both engines in my toolbox. If you're using C Sharp, you've got to check out JetBrains Rider. Rider's Unity integration is simply far better than what I've experienced with Visual Studio. It's super smooth with awesome debugging and auto-completion features, total game changer for coding efficiency. Have you ever played a game that looked amazing? Even if it was simple pixel art and wondered how they created those awesome visuals? This is where your art tools come in. As I mentioned in a previous video, I'll link it for you guys, Krita is fantastic for digital painting and concept art. It's free and feature rich. Esprite is my go-to for pixel art. It has a built-in timeline that makes animating sprites a breeze. Need a Photoshop-like editor in your web browser? Photopea is my hidden gem. It's free, accessible from anywhere, and perfect for quick image edits when I can't install software. Okay, let's be honest. We all love Blender, right? It's an open source 3D powerhouse for modeling, rigging, and animation. And it's not going anywhere in 2025. Whether you're doing quick prototypes or final polished assets, 
blender is a must have in your toolkit. Now what's a game without the right mood or sound effects? Flat. That's why audio is such a critical part of the whole experience. For sound effects and general audio editing, Ripper is my door of choice. It's affordable, customizable, and does practically everything I need for professional grade audio. So you've made a cool game. How do you show it off to the world? You'll need great marketing materials like trailers, devlogs, and demos to really shine. Currently, I've been editing a lot of my videos in Filmora Wondershare, and it's been pretty decent for quick edits and effects. But I think in the new year, I might switch to DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is fantastic for editing devlogs, gameplay trailers, or any marketing material. The free version has robust color grading and professional features. And if you've already switched from anything to Resolve or to any other video editor, let me know your experience in the comments. And that's the rundown of the tools I'll be carrying with me into 2025. Each one has saved me time, boosted my creativity, or just made game dev more fun. And of course, I'd love to hear your suggestions too. If you have a secret weapon in your workflow, please share it below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you never miss an episode. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and as always, happy coding. Bye!